A former pharmacist who admitted to watering down drugs for thousands of cancer patients is getting out of prison early. Robert Courtney will be moved to a halfway house in June. Some of his patients getting just 1% of the dose they were prescribed. KNBC 9's Peyton Headley has reaction from families who say they lost loved ones, all because of him. He was fantastic. He was my dad. More than 20 years later, it's still hard for Amelia Rivera to talk about how she lost her dad. Yeah. Emilio Rivera was 68 when doctors diagnosed him with prostate cancer. He had kept a diary like of all of the medications that he took and all of the appointments that he had. And he always said, you know, he goes, something's not right. And it wasn't. Rivera's chemo treatments didn't seem to be working. He was never really sick. He never lost any of his hair. And he was just like, we can't believe he's you know, he's going through chemotherapy. I was surprised because my dad wasn't getting sick. No side effects whatsoever. It's a similar story for Kathleen Duncan's dad. If he had to have cancer, he had the best form. He was only stage two. Harry Duncan was 74 when he was diagnosed. Less than three months later, he died. Life just changed a lot, a lot. Rivera and Duncan shared more than just a diagnosis. Both of their chemo treatments were filled by former pharmacist Robert Courtney. Now, it's hard for these families to hear the last two years of his sentence will be spent in a halfway house. He gets to come home. My dad doesn't get to come home. I know you're not supposed to hate somebody, but if I had to hate anybody and it's him. Those feelings are just as raw as they were more than 20 years ago. In Jackson County, Peyton Headley, KMBC 9 News. Courtney is to be moved to a halfway house in Springfield. We talked with attorney Mike Ketchmark, who represents hundreds of families in this case, and he says they plan to call on the Jackson County prosecutor to file state murder charges on their behalf. Says Courtney was charged federally with tampering, but never under Missouri law, adding there's no statute of limitations on murder in Missouri.